Good morning everyone and welcome again to our backyard. One of the things that I wanted to share today is the number of butterflies, in particular the gulf fritillaries that we have in the yard. And one of the things that's true is when you have host plants for butterflies, that really attracts your butterflies to come in because of course that's the host plant to the butterflies caterpillars which in which they lay their eggs. Well the Gulf fritillary, the Gulf fritillary's host plant is, oop, I'm gonna get a, <laughs> sorry about that, I want to get a stupid wasp out of here. It is looking for, it's looking for caterpillars. Anyway, there are a lot of butterflies around at the moment and that's because this particular plant is one of their host plants. And I've talked about this plant before. It's called a cotton leaf passion flower. And it's native to Texas here. And what's interesting is we have found that they prefer this over hybrid passion flower. Of course, they go to that also. And let me move over here. What we have trellised is our passion flower. It's a hybrid, it's called incense. And this also attracts fritillaries, gulf fritillaries, and variegated fritillaries, but not quite in the numbers that the native does. And that's pretty typical also. Just kind of want to get in here and take a look at the leaf structure on incense, this incense hybrid. I've showed these flowers before, they're very pretty and they're nice and a deep dark large flower, large purple flower. Whereas the flowers over here on the native passion flower are a lot smaller they're closing now they don't stay open very long um, and these are more of a lavender color but this time of year um, in the fall like this it's still pretty warm and we have a lot of a lot of gulf fritillaries at the moment and a lot of um, also a lot of caterpillars so the gulf fritillary caterpillar let me get there's a little guy right there let me get a oops there's some bees there let me get a picture of this one it's a pretty good size caterpillar we came out early this morning and counted a little over 40 on this native passion vine. And we counted, oh, under 10 on our hybrid passion vine. The one thing about this native the cotton leaf passion vine is it grows very vigorously which we this is our first year having it and we weren't really aware of that and it's pretty much taken over it looks like a carpet on this bed and I didn't like that um, I still don't like how it has overtaken my purple and pink salvia but I especially like having <laughs> 
the butterflies and the caterpillars. So it sustains a lot of life. There's green anoles, which are little lizards in here. And it's just, there's just so many. life forms, if you will, that this particular passion blind sustains. And I really love that aspect of it. Like I said, we counted <laughs> over 40 here. The bees in particular love this tiny flower. No, it's not tiny, it's just small. I mean, the gopher lilies will go for it also. So I just kind of wanted to give a fall update since we had so many gopher lilies in there. I think I've kind of scared them away as I've walked around all over here. This vine is, the incense is also very vigorous and grows really nicely, flowers beautifully. It just doesn't attract as many. Butterflies to lay their eggs as this native one does. Very different leaf structures, it's called cotton leaf because it's kind of fuzzy <laughs> but this is just I love it it's just covered in gulf for Larry caterpillars and as you can see the poor salvia is trying to also compete but this large passion vine has just taken over and this is growth in one season because It died back in our freeze over the winter. It died back to the ground. And so it took a while for it to come up in the spring. And then it took a while to grow, um, to get taller than the salvia. And finally, when it made its way to the sun, it just took off. And it has just, <laughs> like I said, it's like a carpet. But it is wonderful because the habitat here for the butterflies and the caterpillars is just really good. I'm going to go back a little bit and just enjoying all the butterfly activity. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a great day.